With lots of newly released smartphones in the market now, it could be overwhelming to decide on which one to buy. And while you only get to choose from a handful of Apple iPhones, there is something for everyone in the Android market, with manufacturers focusing on different selling points. Whether it's a sleek waterproof design, a huge display, or an abundance of cameras, sometimes you can even find all of those specs on one phone. Beyond the specifications though, budget is the biggest factor in deciding what phones we buy. And over the next few minutes, I'll be talking about the different specs to look out for when buying your next phone without going over your budget. The first thing I'll be talking about is the processor. Like with any computer, a phone's processor has a big role to play on how well it performs. If all you want to do is browse the web and scroll through social media, then the processor is probably a little less important. But if you play mobile games or do a lot of multitasking, a decent performing processor is a must for you. If you want an iPhone, you don't have to worry about the processor because Apple makes its own processors for iPhones and the higher the number in the name, the better. For example, the A14 Bionic processor in the iPhone 12 is better than the A13 Bionic in the iPhone 11. But as an Android buyer, you have the option to choose either Snapdragon powered devices or its rival MediaTek or even the Samsung Exynos processor. Whichever processor you decide to go for, make sure it has efficient power management so you don't suffer from overheating issues. Moving on to display, there are four things to consider here. The display size, the display type, the refresh rate, and the resolution. The display size of smartphones typically range from around 5 inches to around 6.8 inches. Your choice should be driven by what you want to do most with the phone. Some folks like small portable devices, while some others prefer big displays for multimedia consumption. Android display types are generally LCD, OLED or AMOLED displays. It's better to go for OLED or AMOLED display as they have better dynamic range for colors. Display resolution has to do with how many pixels are packed in the screen. The more the pixel count, the sharper things look on the screen. Most high-end phones have 1440p display and mid-range phones these days generally have a 1080p display, which is still crisp enough for most users. A common recommendation is to stay clear of devices with a resolution lower than that. And lastly on display is refresh rate. Typically, smartphones have 60, 90 or 120 hertz refresh rate. And as a rule of thumb, the higher the better. That's because a higher refresh rate makes the phone smoother and more responsive, especially for animations and gaming. If you find this guide helpful so far, Please remember to hit the like button and also consider subscribing to my channel. Next up is RAM. Generally, the bigger the RAM, the better. Android phones with 6 gigs or more of RAM will easily handle most multitasking. Moving on to storage. With mobile apps requiring more space, it's best to look for a device with at least 128 gigs of onboard storage. Depending on what you do with your phone, check to see if you can get expandable storage. And now to the battery. Many things impact how long a phone battery will last, including the display size, usage type, either gaming or just browsing, and as such, it can be tricky to figure out how much usage you'll get from a phone battery, but the larger, the better. It would be worth it to check reviews before you buy if you are big on battery. In relation to battery, it's charging. An important consideration when it comes to charging is whether a phone comes with a fast charge option, because let's face it. You will have days when you will need to charge up your battery as quickly as possible and you will not want the lack of fast charge feature to be an issue. Also, you can check if your preferred device has wireless charging support. And coming to perhaps the most important feature to many of us, the camera. Device manufacturers push camera specs as one of the important selling points of their phones. And that's because a lot of people now use their phones for photography and videography. Most high-end phones come with a triple camera system consisting of a standard wide-angle lens and ultra-wide and telephoto lenses. The ultra-wide and the telephoto lenses are typically the selling point of these high-end devices in contrast to mid-rangers and low-budget devices. Look out for the sensor size as well as the aperture size. The closer the sensor size is to 1 inch, the better, and the lower the F number of the aperture, the better. To a seemingly insignificant feature, but very important, waterproofing. Some manufacturers claim that their phone is water resistant, but do not provide exact industry rating as to how much. Make sure to buy a phone with an official IP rating, as this tells you how much and how long your phone will be able to withstand dust, 
splash or a complete submerging water. Now let's talk about 5G connectivity. Coverage for 5G isn't everywhere yet, so it's important to ask yourself whether you need a 5G speed at all and crucially if it's available where you live. But if you are planning on future-proofing your phone, then 5G might be an important consideration for you. And that's because 5G may not be popular now, but in a few years, it will most likely become mainstream. Like I said at the beginning, budgets will determine the type of phone you will buy for the kind of spec you are looking for. Some tips to help you get good value for your money when shopping for your next phone include 1. Leverage on deals and sales in your region from phone manufacturers and marketers alike. 2. Shop models from the previous year. Many a times, there are only small incremental upgrades in specs for newer models of many devices. And the previous models get a price reduction at the launch of the newer models, which makes it a good time to buy. That's it guys. Remember that buying smart does not mean breaking a bank. Let me know the feature that is most important to you in the phone in the comment section down below. And remember to click the like button and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. I will see you in the next one. Cheers!